Hello and welcome to the next video on mobile repairing. So far we have tried understanding the mobile phone, different components of the mobile phone, the internal chip components of a mobile phone and how we can rectify a lot of faults in the mobile phone. Now we come to one of the most important aspects. It's one of the last elements that we will be learning in the mobile repairing course. This is very closely linked to the software component of the mobile phone. In this video, we will try and understand how we can download files onto the mobile phone or copy files from a mobile phone to a computer. Now, why is this required? Many a times we have, uh, we take photographs and videos on the mobile phone. And these video videos and photographs are saved either in the mobile phone or it's in the memory card or the micro SD card of the mobile phone. Obviously, every micro SD card or a mobile phone has a limited memory. So you may need to transfer these files onto a computer so that you can keep your memory card free and you can continue taking photographs and videos on the mobile phone. This is also the same with uh, uh, any uh, songs or videos that you may have on your mobile phone. So in this uh, video, we will try and understand uh, where the files are saved and how we can transfer those files to a computer. Now, typically, um, most of these uh, mobile phones have something called as a micro SD card. So what you see here is a micro SD card. This is a 1 GB micro SD card. 1 GB is the capacity of this micro SD card. Micro SD cards come in different capacities ranging from 1 GB to up to uh, 128 GB or in some cases 256 GB as well. Uh, obviously, the cost is also in, uh, increasing as the capacity of the card increases. We already saw where the micro SD card is uh, placed in the mobile phone. So this is where all the files are stored. You can save your uh, movies, your videos, your uh, um, photographs, everything is saved in this memory card. Now this memory card uh, can be removed from the mobile phone and you can transfer data from this memory card to a computer using what is called as a card reader. So what you see here is a card reader. You can see it's a very simple device. Uh, on one end, let me remove the cover. On one end, you have a USB uh, port here. This is plugged into the USB point or a port on a computer. And on the other side, you will be able to see slots where you can place different types of SD cards. So there are different memory cards that come. There are TF cards, um, SD cards in different sizes. So you can place them. The micro SD card slot is over here. You can see the small one. The top one is the micro SD card slot here. So you can place the micro SD card slot here just as I'm going to show it for you. So I'm going to take the micro SD card and plug it in into this slot and it's now firmly placed here. Once I do this, I can then plug it into the USB port of a computer. So you can see the USB port uh, resembles like this. I'm using a laptop to show it, but it's the same in most other computers. So I just take it and I can plug it in into the USB port. And now this can be read by the computer and through this you can read the data saved on the micro SD card. This is similar to uh, another memory device which is called as the pen drive. And I'm sure many of you are familiar with pen drive. So pen drive is used to save data. You can also use, to, use pen drive to transfer data from one laptop to the other laptop. So this is a, and this comes in different sizes. Again, this is, as you can see, it's a 16 uh, GB pen drive. That's the capacity of the pen drive. And you can use this to transfer data from one computer to the other computer. And this also fits in into the same USB slot of a computer. So we have another USB slot, which is empty here. I can just plug this in and this fits in into the USB slot. So as you can see, you know, you can copy files from one of your friend's computer through the memory card and you can plug in your micro SD card and connect the data onto copy the data onto your micro SD card. So these are two ways of trying to transfer data from your mobile phone to a computer. Now we've seen uh, how to connect the USB or the micro SD card to the computer. Now let's continue on the computer screen to try and understand what you need to do on the computer in order to access them. So if you uh, have connected your pen drive or the micro SD card to your computer, uh, you can go to the folder uh, option. So there is this explorer which is available in most computers. You will see the small uh, file folder uh, image here. So you click on that, that will open the file explorer. And once you open the file explorer, you will be able to see the pen drive or SD cards that you have connected. As you can see here, uh, the pen drive is a 16 GB pen drive and that's shown here in the name of skill train. 
and there is an SD card. The micro SD card that we had connected is shown here. It's a 1 GB micro SD card. Now, there will be some space that will be used for the respective uh, pen drive or the micro SD card, which is why if it's a 1 GB micro SD card, you will not get the entire 1 GB here. Some of it is used for internal memory purposes. Now, in order to open these, all you need to do is keep your mouse on top of that particular uh, icon and double click it. So, when you double click it, it will open up the entire folder. As you can see, these are the files which are saved in the pen drive. Uh, if you want to go back, you can use the up arrow here on top and go back to the previous uh, uh, screen. And here, if you want to open the micro SD card, you can double click again here and you will be able to see the list of folders that are available on the micro SD card. So, these are called folders and within folders are where files are kept. So, when I double click this, for example, this folder is empty. There is nothing available here. But if I go back to the pen drive and I open it, these are called files. So, files are in specific, uh, uh, you need specific applications to open each of these files. For example, as you can see here, uh, this is an image file, this is a word document, this is a music file, this is a PowerPoint file. So, similarly, you need that particular software or application to open each of these files. Now, what we are going to do is we will try and connect the mobile device using the USB cable and see what happens if, we, if the computer is able to detect it or not. So, what you see here is a simple data cable. This data cable again has uh, two ends here. So, on one end is the USB point which is connected to the computer. So, you can see the USB point here. This is what connects to the computer. And on the other end is a micro USB connecting tip. And uh, this micro USB connecting tip is what is plugged in into a mobile phone. So, let me show you where the uh, connection happens. Now, in a mobile phone, if you typically see, we understood it. There is a point which I mentioned earlier in one of the videos is for connecting for the battery charger. The same point acts as the data connectivity point as well. And you need to ensure that you place it in the right direction, ensuring that you align it in the right direction. You plug it in and this is connected now to your mobile phone. On the other end, you can connect the USB point to the laptop USB port or the computer USB port. And similar to how we connected the pen drive, um, you need to ensure that you connect it in the right direction. And now it's fitted. Now your computer is now connected. As you can see on the mobile phone, the moment I plugged it in into it, you can see the battery image. So this laptop is in switched on position. So, this is now charging the battery of the mobile phone. So, I plugged it in and as you can see, the, sing, the it shows up saying the name of the, the device and then it says select to choose what happens with this device. So, this is something that will normally come up when you connect it for the first time. I click on that and it will give me a lot of choices on how you want the computer to recognize this. Do you want to only import photos, videos or do you want to open the device to view files? So, what we will do now is we will click on open device to view files. Uh, in order to be able to see what are the files which are saved, I'll click on that. And as you can see, it opens up the mobile phone's storage. Now, typically mobile phones have two storages. There is one called the internal storage, which is what is in the phone itself. This is the internal memory of the phone. And there's something called SD card, which is the micro SD card, which we additionally add to increase the memory in the mobile mobile device. So, here we have around 1.78 GB of internal storage in the mobile, roughly around 2 GB. And we have a 4 GB micro SD card that we have plugged in. So, out of which around 3.68 GB is available for us to use. And you can click on these. So, many a times when you are working on your mobile phone, when you are using your mobile phone, when you take uh, photographs, many mobile devices store them in the internal storage, which in the phone phone's memory. So, this internal storage may have files and folders as you can see here. So, there are... Uh, uh, the DCIM folder is normally the folder where the camera images are saved. Whatever uh, video or photos you take is saved here. There are other folders such as movies, music, notification, pictures. So, these are standard folders that you will see in most internal storage of most mobile phones. And typically, you can uh, adjust the settings in a mobile phone on whether you want the mobile phone to save the photographs in the internal storage or you want it stored in the external storage. So, if you want it stored in the internal storage, you will be able to access your photographs using the DCIM folder. You will be able to save music, pictures and so on in this uh, in the internal storage. If you set the settings as uh, SD card, you can always save all of these in the SD card. And if you open the SD card, you will be able to see a standard list of folders which are available in the 
SD card of your my mobile phone as well. Now this SD card obviously you can access this either directly by connecting the mobile just as we did now or you can remove the micro SD card and use a card reader to be able to read these files just as we have done here with the micro SD card here. Now let's try and understand how we can copy files from let us say a pen drive or from a computer to a mobile device to the micro SD card of a mobile device. Now let me open in order to copy files first of all you need to first select the file that you want to copy. Now let us say I want to copy a file named skill train. So this is a music file and uh, currently there is no content in it. So um, let me go to this uh, publisher file. So I want to copy this file on to my um, mobile device. So what, what you need to do is you need to do uh, click on that file once. And once you click on that file, um, one more click will ensure that you are able to rename the file. We don't want to rename it. So just click it once and you can do a right click which will give you multiple options here. So what I am doing here is a right click here. It will give you a lot of options. What we want to do here is do a copy. Copy is basically make a copy of this and that can be used to send it to or place it in another folder. You don't want to cut it because once you cut it, it this file will disappear from its current folder and will go to the new folder that you want to paste it. So we will do a copy here. So you click on copy. The other easy way to click uh, do this is to press the control C option. So there is a control button and a C uh, character button on your uh, keyboard. You can do the control C which will copy this particular file. So let me click on copy. Now the file is copied. Once the file is copied, now I want to paste it in the mobile device. So if you go back here, you will see the mobile device folder here. We opened it earlier. It's available here. You can decide whether you want to put it in the internal storage or SD card. Let us say I want to place it in the internal storage. I open the internal storage. Uh, normally you can, there are uh, documents, there is a folder called documents here. So let us say there is no fold, document folder here and we want to create a documents folder. Again what you can do here is right click here and click on a new folder. Now once you click on new folder, it will ask you the name. So you can type in the name here and type it as uh, documents. So once you type the name of the folder here, this folder gets created on your mobile device. As you can see, we just created the documents folder. Now I want the file that I copied to be placed in this folder. So I double click and open this folder. I go here, do a right click and you will see this paste option here. Another way to do a paste is to use the control V option. So control plus V button will ensure that it pastes it directly. So that's the shortcut key. So let me click on the paste option here and as you can see the file has now come into this folder. So we've been able to copy the file from one folder to the other folder. So this folder can be so on one end we were using the pen drive from where we copied this on to the internal storage of a mobile phone. Similarly, if you have photographs saved on your mobile phone and you want to move them to a computer, it's exactly the same way. You can go into that particular folder. Let us say I uh, open this folder and goes into the camera and as you can see these are the photographs that we just took yesterday. So I want to transfer these photographs onto my computer. So I can do a right click here again. I do a copy which means I have copied this file and I can go ahead and paste it in my computer. So I am doing a paste here and as you can see the file has been moved from has been uh, copied onto my computer. Now many a times you may not want the photographs to stay in the mobile phone itself because obviously it takes a lot of memory. So you want to move these files, all of these files, you want to remove them from your mobile and put them in your computer. In which case you can select all the files. One of the ways to select is you know drag your cursor or a mouse, mouse pointer over the files and that will select all these files. You can also press shortcut key control A to actually select these files. Once you have done that, you can right click on one of them and do the cut option. Now cut can also be done by a shortcut key which is control X. So when you press control X, it will cut them which means it will remove them from your mobile device and then you can then paste it onto your computer. So let's do the cut option. So as soon as you press the cut option, uh, you can go back to the folder where you want it to be pasted and you can paste the device. Now remember, we have cut both the files. Now the one of the file is already present here. So let us see what the computer says. We pasted it and because this file is already here, it is asking you whether you want to copy and replace this file or you don't want to copy it. 
Now, since we are moving the whole thing and it's the same file that we are moving, let's choose the copy and replace option. And as you can see, both the files have been moved to the other folder. So, this is now in your computer or in your pen drive and you can go ahead and copy it on your computer or whichever way. And let's go back to the camera folder and as you can see, the camera folder is empty now. The folder, the photographs have been transferred. So, this is normally how you use, uh, to, you can use, you can do transfer of files between your mobile phone to a computer or from a computer to a mobile device. This is a very important uh, um, process that you need to understand in order for you to be able to um, manage or in order to be able to manage the storage on your mobile phone uh, effectively. So, with this uh, video, I do hope you would have understood how downloading uh, as a process happens. This is also called as the downloading process. I do hope you would have learned how to do the downloading process essentially which is copying files onto your mobile phone or copying files from your mobile phone to your computer. Um, keep learning and thank you very much.